Hey guys and girls, my name is Dan and welcome back to The Forge. In this episode of Trust Me, I'm a blacksmith. I like to talk to you about smithing and striking. Um, so smithing and striking uh, comes in two forms. The first, the first form is where you have a blacksmith who will have a piece of metal and he'll hold the top tool and then forge down on top of that top tool with, with, with a striker. Um, and then the other type of smith and striking is where the, the striker will have a sledgehammer and the blacksmith will have his hand hammer and they work together forging, taking it in turns to hit the metal. Now, the second type of smith and striking is severely overlooked, and the versions of striking I've seen, they ain't right. There's a big, there's a big gap, um, and there's a real loss of technique in some of the styles of striking that I've seen. If you want to see a really good example of smith and striking, Bruce Wilcox has an amazing video. I'll chuck a card up, I'll stick it in the description. Um, now, um, I'm going to do a little bit of a demonstration of smith and striking now, um, and I'm going to go over some of the techniques and the principles and the ideas and uh, then I'm going to raise a little bit of a competition, a little bit of a challenge and I'm going to uh, ask a couple of guys to have a go at something um, and see if I can get a few, you know, get a trend of this going, see if we can get a few people challenging each other to do the striking challenge. So uh, I'm going to get set up and um, I'll see you back here in a second. So to demonstrate uh, the Smith and the striking, I'm going to use a piece of wood to start with and do a little bit of a slow demo. But I need a striker. And where am I going to get a striker from? <laughs> Ta da! Do you want a brew? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> right, so I've got a striker. This is Dan. Um, he's from the college and he's going to give me out. So um, the ugly legs that you occasionally see in my videos, they're normally his. <laughs> so. The job of the blacksmith um, as a smith and striker is to command Dan where to hit. He's got a bigger hammer and he can do bigger blows. Now, we have several commands, or me and Dan particularly have several commands that we use in this workshop. There might be lots of different commands wherever you go, but these are pretty standard. Um, so, the first command is the call. So I can call Dan by tapping the anvil twice, and Dan will start working. The second command is the stop. Now I lay my hammer down on the side, or I'll just tell him to stop, or just chuck the handle, hammer down. <laughs> um, so that's the second command. So this is a stop and start. And that's the first part. Um, the second thing that I can do as a blacksmith is I can control where Dan hits. Now this, can, this allows me time to move the stock around should I need to. So I can call Dan, strike. Okay, now I've controlled, I've, I've, what I've done there is I've taken Dan off the work because I might want to look at it or something. Now the third thing is that a strike, uh, a, that a blacksmith can get a striker to move around the work and that's important. I can get him to do work over here or over here or, or somewhere on the bick if I wanted to. Now I would call Dan. Now I can get him to move around in all sorts. But there's one thing you have to remember, a strike is, a, is one full turn. So one hammer hit of my hammer and Dan's is one strike and should be treated as so. So we shouldn't do things like this. I shouldn't pull down and go. I shouldn't do that because Dan was aiming, I've told Dan to hit here and then I've given him this face. So that's incorrect. So what should happen is, Now this is a bit slow, normally we'd work a lot faster than this and I'm having to concentrate quite hard, so is Dan, to get it working this slow. But these principles allow you to do quite complicated techniques but give you a lot of control at the same time. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a bar hot and we're going to start and forge a bit of a bar down. Right, so I'm going to take a piece of hot bar this time instead of some wood and I'm going to call Dan. Okay, so um, that's basically the principle. Now, um, I'm 
get that back in the fire and we'll do a little bit more. Right, so I'm going to pull that. As you can see, it can be quite effective if used properly. <laughs> Right, I know it's not a lovely piece of bar and we were just wailing on it there, but um, it's quite a nice effective little technique should you require it. Cool, I hope you really enjoyed the video. Um, it was great working with Dan there. Um, I don't get the opportunity to do as much striking as he used to when I was at college and um, it's, a, it's a really good way to work if you haven't got a power hammer. Um, I don't see very many examples of it on YouTube, so hopefully that's a little window into a world of striking for you guys. Now I have a little challenge. It's called the draw out challenge and um, I hopefully am going to start something that we can all sort of share in as a bit of fun and games. Um, and that's what, how it's intended, guys and girls. It's intended as fun and games. I'm not, I'm not trying to drag anyone through the coals here or berate anyone. I'm probably going to lose this <laughs> challenge anyway. So uh, let's have some fun with it. The draw out challenge is, this is a piece of inch by eight inch mild steel bar. You have to draw it out as long as possible, Smith and Striker style. Now. Um, I, I've, um, I've got a few names that I'm going to nominate and the rules of this comp, uh, competition, this challenge, the rules of this challenge are once you have done the draw out challenge you can nominate up to five people to have a go at it as well you can only use eight inches of stock so you can't have a bar and then chop it off once you're done and you must hold it with a pair of tongs you can't weld a bar on the end or anything like that. You have to hold it with a pair of tongs, okay? So, you and a striker, draw it out as far as you can, measure it up, and the, the longest one is the winner. I don't know how we work out who the winner is, but um, we can try. So, blacksmiths can only be in one video, but strikers can be in many. So, if uh, I think I'm probably gonna end up in a few videos, um, this goes as I plan. Um, so, um, yeah, but if someone who nominates someone has already been nominated as a blacksmith, the person who did the nominating must redo the video again, okay? So a person can't be nominated twice as a smith, but you can do it as many times as you like as a striker. Now, I'm going to nominate five guys, and my choices are kind of if someone's dropped a comment on my channel or I'm friends with them, basically. So, um, but they're all YouTubers. And that's the other thing, they have to be YouTubers, okay? Um, so the first person I'd like to uh, nominate is Ron Adams. He is a Christ Center Ironwork. Thanks for the great comments. Um, really love your channel as well. Um, so find yourself a striker buddy, because you're my first nomination. My second nomination is Joshua Delisle. Um, I've got a feeling I'm going to be your striker for <laughs> that one at the minute. Uh, the third one is Pete Williamson, a good friend of mine. Um, he he does have some YouTube videos, um, but he's just getting into them. I'll chuck links down to all these guys in the bottom. The third one is Zach Stevens. Um, he's also a YouTuber, and I also love your videos, man. They're really cool. Um, keep up the good work. And then the last, but no means least, Joe Coombs Jackman, otherwise known as Blacksmith Joe. Um, I kind of guess who you're going to use as your striker, but um, you're my nominations, guys. So um, me and Dan are going to draw this bad boy out and um, see how long we can get it. And good luck with your challenges.
Dan's even worse. Right. This is going rubbish. <laughs> okay. We might have no for it. Eleven. Eleven and a half inches. Oh. I don't know if you can see that. There you are, 11 and a half inches. Right. <laughs> Whew. Oh, we never do that yet. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, like and subscribe. I try and post videos as often as possible. Um, Sometimes other stuff gets in the way. This was a bit of fun and games. Uh, hope you guys respond with some good videos as well. I'm so unfit. Um, uh, Dan is dying. Look at poor boy. Um, yeah, okay, cool. So remember, like and subscribe, comments down below, and I'll put a link up to a other video over there. <laughs> See you guys later, bye bye. <laughs>